Welcome back to I Love Wood Mommy Food Review video. I've been shopping and I got some really traditional Indonesian snacks here in UK. So let's begin. What is that? I guess kue lapis. Okay, yeah, I think this is kue lapis. Kue lapis. It's really colorful, like a rainbow. Maybe too cute for me. Let's try this. You hear the jelly sound? Wee! Bismillah. I think it's some glutinous rice, if I'm not wrong. It's not too sweet. I wouldn't say I'm a big fan, but it's alright. I think it looks better than it tastes. Next one. What is that? Kwe chuchur, I think. Kwe chuchur. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's brown sugar or palm sugar or something like that. And my wife told me this is like the ant house. So if I open it will look like ant living inside. Let's find it out. Okay, I will open it first before I try. I want to see where the ants are. Does it look like uh, some ant house? <laughs> At least no ants inside, so it's safe to eat. This one I like more than the Kwe Lapis. Mm -hmm. This is much better. Really unique taste. I think it's from the palm sugar. This is Putu Ayu. Steamed Pandan Coconut Cake. Yeah, I smell some coconut and I smell the pandan. I think it will be dry but tasty. Let's find it out. Personally, I think it smells better than it tastes. It's a little bit dry. It's steamed, so it's soft. Not too sweet. You get that coconut flavor and just a little bit of the pandan. Kwe Chuchur is the winner so far. But let's see, I have some more. Let's check out Bolu Kukus. <laughs> Sounds funny. Actually, it looks like a small muffin with different colors in it. This is steamed sponge cupcake. Bolle cookies. Bolo cookies. I just want to see how it looks under the paper. Two different colors. It doesn't really smell like anything. This uh, wins the competition of the most driest cake so far. A little bit pink, but doesn't taste like strawberries or any other fruit. It's just a sponge, which is steamed. So it's a little bit like bao bun for me. It looks nice, but it's lacking some flavor. Come on, Indonesia, you can do better than this. And what is that? Caramel. Caramel cake. Kwe caramel kukus. Smells a little bit like burnt something. I think it's the caramel. Oh, there's like a flower. So I think this is the upside. <laughs> It looks like some flower, but it doesn't smell like a flower. Mm. This one and the Kwe Chuchur is my favorite. Both were brown and both were tasty. The other ones had a lot of bright colors, but the taste was maybe lacking something special. Mm -hmm. I can definitely recommend this one. Proudly present. What is that? Mendut. In Indonesian, it's just one word, mendut. But the translation is really long. Soft glutinous rice flour cake with sweet grated coconut. Enough talking, let's do the eating. So it is in banana leaf. Let's unwrap it. Oh, it smells nice. It's just looking really sticky. Some like sticky rice. What is this? <laughs> I'm not sure, should I eat it with spoon or with hand? I don't know, it's so strange, like a um, kid's toy. There is no Ricky, only Zool. I think I've managed to eat it like this. Or maybe just take a little bit of banana leaf. Yeah, let's use this as a wrap and then eat a little bit. Mm. Okay, I think I'm taking my words back about the two other cakes that I pressed before. This is my favorite now. I think this is really traditional, something really authentic. It's hard to believe that you can get something like this here in UK. This is definitely 9 or maybe 10 out of 10. How much was this? Every item that I tried today, it was just one pound each. That is uh, really cheap. Okay, it's not cheap for Indonesians, but for UK prices, that's uh, incredible. You have a, to put a lot of effort to make something like this. Even banana leaves cost a lot of money. You cannot just go to your neighbor and steal it. <laughs> That's what you've done? Yes, one time. 
Okay, that's it for today. And I see you in the next I Love Umami Food Review video. Assalamu alaikum.